what's up goodies welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook and today boo in the kitchen we are making oven baked glazed chicken thighs every time fast easy and simple now if it is your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe goody and turn the post notification on so that way you will always be the first to be notified every single time we upload a brand new video and for all of returning goody when i don't know set with a girl up into the max when i ready for cook come on let's cook okay my love but goodies let's jump right into the recipe and talk about all the ingredients that we are going to turn up this glaze thighs with in the kitchen fast easy and simple all right we're going to need some ginger powder garlic um, paprika we're going to add some apple cider vinegar chicken season black pepper salt we're also going to need onion and garlic powder we're going to add some lemon pepper seasoning some dry thyme here parsley flakes we're going to add some all-purpose seasoning here i mean i like it but we're going to still use it and we're going to add some hot sauce to it turn it up a notch now know that you could substitute that out for whatever you like i'm going to add my maple syrup here definitely could go with the honey but we are going going with we going with maple syrup or you could have brown sugar and we are going to use some ketchup here now these are all the ingredients thus far and i'm going to list everything that i in fact use for this particular recipe down in the description bar so go ahead and check on that all right so when you add everything into a container to make everything fast when we went ahead and pre did that right i'm going ahead and just do it earlier so this is what it looks like here you want to make sure that you had enough paprika because the paprika is going to give it the color that you need all right um i did add um, oil all right i did show it, i did show it all but i'm never gonna go over that but yeah add some oil to it everything is going to be written down below okay cooking oil any kind of oil you have in the kitchen now my chicken is washed nice and clean with salt lemon juice and vinegar and then i don't know say your girlfriend <laughs> listen good i don't know say me wash up the daylight saving time off of them chicken thighs yeah already now i did keep the skin on because the skin is going to give me that moisture it's going to lock in that moisture that i need now all you have to do here is go ahead and get some of that water that might be second in the bottom of the chicken container pan then you pour all that good up good up good up sauce all over your chicken honey thighs okay just pour it all up in there give it a nice little mix now i did let it sit for about 45 minutes now, if you wanted to sit overnight, you could do that. If you wanted to sit more than length of time, I'm gonna put on it. You could do that. Usually, I do 30 minutes, okay? But we did have an extra 15 minutes to waste, so I decided to give it 45 minutes, and that's all I have to get it because you don't know it got. I was gonna have to eat food, right? All right, so I gave it 45 minutes here. It was nicely seasoned. It was perfect it was smelling good even though it was not cooked yet and my finger is in the frame honey now peel that not mine all right i saw the thing set all right so after i did that okay i went ahead like i said before made sure it was nicely covered seasoned properly gave it 45 minutes and it was ready to go ready to go in the oven now goody you want to make sure that your oven is preheated okay your oven needs to be preheated and set at 375 degrees okay you don't want to put these goodness into a cold oven because you are going to ruin the entire cooking process now make sure that it is nice and flat and clean all right clean mm -hmm. so i went ahead and placed my chicken on my baking tray here all right my chicken thighs some of you might not um like thighs go ahead and use drumsticks i do have a recipe such as similar to this one that i use drumstick for that recipe so you could substitute that out if you don't like chicken skin you might be saying because i know i might get that question like that you don't have to put the chicken skin on you could also leave it off as well it will come out just as good but better if you leave the skin on right now i didn't waste any of my juices so i just went ahead and poured it on there covered it up with some foil paper you want to cook it for 30 minutes first covered 30 minutes first covered okay let's all get that right 30 minutes 
cover it in the oven all right make sure you cover it up put it in the oven at 375 degrees in a preheated oven 30 minutes later you come back you have all the natural juices only from your chicken and thighs honey baby those are some really good juices right there and we are going to be using those juices to make or sauce or glaze boo so we're not gonna discard that we are going to need that all right if you're a chicken to produce them juice there return the chicken because the chicken is no good now when you are done with that process you want to go ahead and take these chicken thighs out of those good juices place it into another container here such as this one and let it go to sit and chill and wait uh, until you remove everything. When you remove everything, you go ahead and pour that juices into the pan that you are going to make your sauce in. All right. We get that right. Because we are going to, like I said before, we're going to use this good juice to make our glaze bowl. We're going to do that. Now, after you have done that and the chicken look like that and it's smelling amazing, baby, amazing, you're going to go back in and place those thickened thighs on your baking tray like I'm doing here in no particular order. I never know why men make it so neat because it's going to one place, right? Belly. Now, after I've done all of that, placing my chicken thighs on my baking tray, do not, do not turn your oven down from that 375 degrees. You are going to let it remain on that 375 degrees. You're going to pop these bad boys in the oven again for another 25 minutes. All right? It does take a total of 45 minutes. 45 minutes, 50 minutes, yeah, 50 minutes, 50 minutes, we bake all together. Now, this is what you're going to do with your glaze here. On your stove top, you want to put it on a medium heat. Don't put it on high heat, all right? All I did here was very simple. I went ahead and add some dried pepper flakes to it. If you want to add anything additional to it, go ahead and do that. I allowed it to cook for that 25 minutes while that chicken was sitting in the oven finishing up. And when it was done on that medium heat, honey, glaze, I was, I saw it sitting in the kitchen. Glaze was done. Now, all you know, say your glaze ready when you separate it and it scoop across the pot just like that. And you can actually see the pot bottom not burning and it's not sticking. That is all you know. Your glaze is ready. Ready like Freddy, okay? In that order. Now, after our chicken has been done, baking in the oven for the additional 25 minutes with that beautiful taste delicious glaze that you just made on your stove top you're going to go ahead and just glide it onto the top of your chicken thighs honey mm -hmm. just glaze it on every single one of them thighs all right and again like i said if you do not if you do not want to use the skin on on your chicken thighs go ahead and remove those babies because it's going to be tasty just as good but be very careful because you don't want up dry up dry up chicken thighs okay be careful when you do that okay just to be on the safe side i would recommend it to keep those damn chicken skins on in that order and that looks kind of good isn't it mm -hmm. now after you're finished glazing the top portion of your chicken thighs what you want to do is this you are going to all right turn these babies over on the opposite side because listen it takes two wings to make a bird flying out oh you have to glaze one side and don't glaze the other so just go ahead and flip them up on the next side and we are going to repeat step number uh, one upon step number two so when you finish doing that all you have to do here is simple just use some more of your glaze boo and just put it on top of the other part of your chicken thighs just like i'm doing here hmm, why am i getting hungry looking at this anyway never mind me we can't eat this because you don't know already right all right now so now we're just going to go ahead and glaze this baby in and good to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel 
where you wait pan now just watch me cook up them thing yeah go ahead and hit that subscribe and you don't know it go right so you'll be always notified whenever i upload brand new videos all i did here boo was add a little bit of the green rip on it what do you want to use parsley what do you want to use some um, basil what, what listen whatever you have in the kitchen with green as long as it's not color low and it's not as long as it's not spinach you go ahead and just sprinkle some green rip on it all right just for your presentation purposes only but like i said before this chicken is amazing look at the inside of that chicken no 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 now now be sure that you're spreading this love with all your friends and family tell them what going over you bring them come and send them come i am waiting after you get done doing all of that goody all of that all of this all of that tell me where you want to sit me i cook next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy